Hello and welcome to another electronic boxing. It's a little bit out of the ordinary for me, but um, I'll try and give you an unboxing of, uh, of as many things as I possibly can. So in here um, is a PlayStation 4 Pro. I do own a PlayStation 4. I'm soon not to own it anymore. Uh, I'm selling it to a friend for uh, quite a decent price. So I thought for a little bit more, I'd just make the upgrade. Um, he doesn't have a 4K telly. I do, uh, and I, I want the, the upgrade in, um, in processing power and graphics and, and all the rest of it. So, um, hence why uh, I've got one of these. One of these will set you back £350. It is a lot of money, um, but I think when I first got my original PlayStation 4, that was 350 So, it's come on leaps and bounds a little bit. I'm a bit annoyed that it comes with a, a one terabyte hard drive, uh, because my original PS4 I, I bought a two terabyte and um, if you just move your two terabyte into this one it'll like format it so it's a bit disappointing that this one doesn't come with a two terabyte um, especially for that price point as well um, but there's a new update it might have already uh, come out whereby uh, Sony are letting you use um, external hard drives uh, to, to increase your space which is amazing and I think it's something that uh, Xbox and Microsoft have been doing for, for a while now. Anyway, it wouldn't be a, a Super Saiyan unboxing and things uh, if I wasn't unboxing a PS4 with a PS4. ps 4 um, It has got a small little knife on it though so uh, I won't be opening this like a ninja. And here it is, very heavy. Cool. So there we go. As I say, I thought I'd make the upgrade uh, and sell my my other PlayStation 4 um, and make use of my my 4K telly and the HDR and things like that. Um, there you go, look, PlayStation, the power of PlayStation 4 Pro, spectacular graphics, powerful technology, enhanced gameplay, and extraordinary entertainment. Uh, 4K streaming, auto upscaling for video content. Um, really looking forward to seeing uh, Uncharted 4, Last Guardian, and eventually Horizon Dawn. Um, oh, so, let's see. Just opens like so. I mean, let's face it, guys, this is no apple when it comes to um, product packaging. Comes out like so. Worth keeping your, pot, your, your box because you never know uh, when you might sell it to a mate or sell it on online through one of those online uh, by console websites um, so you've got the instruction book and everything just there um, uh, worth mentioning <coughs> with Amazon I think they give you a free sort of three month um, uh, membership for PlayStation Plus which is worth doing I think PlayStation Plus is, is very good anyway um, there we go you get to register your guarantee today And so on. Um, and then it gives you a bit of an advert for Horizon Zero Dawn, which is PlayStation 4 Pro enhanced. Um, unfortunately, it's not a 4K uh, Blu-ray player, which, I mean, <laughs> these guys invented the PlayStation and, and this, this wonderful console. Um, I, I would have thought that they, that they would have shipped it with a 4K um, player, but alas, no. Um, if you want a 4K player, a cheap one, I mean, a lot of... 4K TVs are now coming with free um, 4K Blu-ray players. Uh, that's if you even want to get into the 4K uh, Blu-ray race. Um, I know that um, a lot of people sort of stream their movies off uh, Netflix and Amazon and things like that. So, um, but unfortunately, no, it doesn't. So, uh, on paper, comparing it to an Xbox One S, which I have, and you've probably seen my unboxing, um, that does have a 4k blu-ray player and it only cost me 250 pound with 
Gears of War 4. Um, so a whole £100 less with a 4K player, and I really love that console. Um, if you see my unboxing and things, initial impressions. Um, but anyway, this is about this console. Yeah, it looks all right. Um, I didn't really have an issue with the with the other one. Uh, they all look sort of like grill machines anyway, don't they? Uh, but yeah, it's not too bad. Um, it's definitely a little bit wider and um, longer than the, the original. Um, and you put the disc in there, so that sort of confuses you already. And um, there's the power. I think it's a physical button that you press, yep. Yeah. Uh, then there's, there's the eject, uh, the USB. We'll have a little look at the rear. There you got your HDMI, your power, um, your Ethernet, another USB, um, your auxiliary and your optical. So a few connections there. Um, vents at the side vents at the other side um no vents at the front it doesn't look like uh these feet here are all rubberized um i've heard mixed uh things about whether it's quieter than the original ps4 my ps4 is so loud though uh, and i've cleaned it dusted it you name it um but my ps4 just sounds like a a jet engine taking off it's just horrific um my xbox one s uh which is a new console i, I purchased um, that is whisper quiet and if you're concerned that an Xbox One S is loud or anything like that don't be I've been playing Forza and Gears of War on it and um, it's been really quiet uh, the PlayStation 4 I, I played Resident Evil 4 on uh, the old PlayStation 4 console and it's just so noisy um, there you go so you get your power lead uh, so no no external brick you also get uh, your cable to um, uh, charge your controller and then in here it's confusing me so many flaps you see all right okay so it all comes out the bottom you get a little uh, microphone and earpiece that hasn't changed uh, in four years um, a bit disappointing it'd be nice if they uh, gave you a a decent headset um, even the one that sort of they had on the Xbox 360 that would have been cool uh, you get another cable and a controller so that's your HDMI cable I'm hoping it is uh, 2.0 or HCDP whatever 2.2 so we can um, do 4k and HDR and then you've got the PlayStation 4 controller. Oh, this is very, very nice. Um, it seems very similar to the current PlayStation 4. Uh, I think the buttons are more greyed out though. The D-pad feels lovely. I like what they've done with that. Yeah, this is, this is just such a lovely controller. And that's shiny now as well. As well. I think the light bar is slightly on the top um, as well as there but we'll have to see when I switch it on and things. So yeah, lovely feeling controller, really nice. And uh, the only downside is if you're playing sort of first person shooters and things, battery life can be a bit bit on the low so side. And um, as you can see, the cable isn't really that long. Um, so you might need to get a, an extender, but the buttons feel lovely, feel softer. It all feel, just feels softer. Anyway, um, there you go. That is my unboxing and initial impressions of the uh, Sony PlayStation 4 Pro. I uh, can't wait to move all my data across to it. I might do a video on that just to uh, show you and like a tutorial. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. Take care.